Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie if you are new here. Today we're going to be working on some projects outside. I need to get my uh, deck. Actually, I need to get the whole place pressure washed, but I definitely want to get the deck and ramp done because I'm about to stain those. I'm sorry if you hear the lawnmower in the background. My, my hair is crazy. <laughs> my dad mowing the yard outside for me. Um, I, get, I did get myself a weed eater recently at Lowe's. I tried using theirs and it was just so heavy. It like kills my wrist because I have carpal tunnel. So I got this one. It's a battery operated one. It's really cool. I really like it. I used it the other day for the loud lawnmower. Um, so I'm gonna go outside. It's already almost six o'clock, so I'd really like to get it done because it's gonna be in the 90s next week. So if I can get at least the back porch and ramp done, I'll be able to go ahead and get that stained. So that's what we're gonna work on. Let's get started. Look at this right here, if this isn't just sad. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. This is what happens when you have to stand under the ladder and hold it for your dad. Got the pressure washing done. Almost all the way. We still have to finish the front because the water hose wouldn't reach far enough. So, yeah, back at it another day. Hi, baby. Hi, my baby. You, you just want some lovings? Want some attention? I'm trying to work on my videos. You don't like it when I work on videos, do you? Today is Sunday. I just finished getting my video uploaded. Um, thank you guys so much for all your sweet comments already. I'm trying to respond to some of them. And now I'm about to go out and work on the back porch and the ramp getting it stained it is super hot outside today so hopefully it'll dry quick anyway <laughs> but i'm in my spare bedroom slash office so you guys are always asking about this room you can look behind me and see why i don't <laughs> film in here much this is another room that's gonna be getting a little makeover before long hopefully so stay tuned for that anyway I gotta get up, get moving, get this porch stained. No procrastination today. I picked up my brush and stain from Lowe's today. The stain color is Simply Cedar, and this brush is specifically for stain, so hopefully it will work well. This is a semi-transparent stain. Um, it's supposed to go on in one coat, and it's more of like a paint consistency from what I understand. A friend of mine recommended it, and she said it worked really well for her. So I'm hoping it will work great for me as well. I'm going to get started staining these steps. I'm going to start with the steps. <laughs> I'm going to use my brain on this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the end of the ramp and work my way upwards. This way I don't trap myself out of the house. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a good plan. I did go ahead a few days ago and remove all of the black um, 
those tread things that I had put on here for Timmy. I'll probably put some more down um, later in the fall, but I didn't want to stain around them. And some of them were getting pretty like gnarly. They were all, or some of them were tearing and pulling up. So I just went ahead and pulled them all up so that I could go ahead and stain it. And hopefully it will work good that way. Okay, so to be honest, I was a little concerned about the color of the stain after I opened it up. I picked it out at Lowe's. They just had like this little card with the different color stains. Kind of hard to tell by looking at that. But I didn't want anything like really dark. I don't tend to go for the really dark colored stains. As you can see in my house, I used a special walnut. So I tried to find a color that was, that I thought would be kind of similar to it. So when I opened this up, it had a very, like it kind of had an orangey hue to it, which I don't like. But I went ahead and did a, um, not really a test because it's on the actual porch, but on the side over here where you don't see very well. Um, but it's drying a, a color that I do like. So wet, I was very nervous about it. It did kind of look orange and it may still look orange to you. I don't know, but I think it's drying a much prettier color. So um, I'm going to get that side over here. This towards my mom's house. I'm getting that side done. Then I'm going to do the steps. And then, like I said, I'm going to work my way up from the bottom of the ramp up to the door so that I can get back in the house. <laughs> for the day because it's getting late and I ran out of stain but whew, time for a shower guys whew. all right we're on day two of the porch staining ramp staining I'm staining the ramp right now um, I just went and sanded down um, all of these spots where those um, black treads were you can see how it's a little discolored I'm hoping that that won't I'm hoping it won't look weird with the stain, but um, I'll probably end up putting them back on here this fall anyway, so it's not really a big deal. But anyway, I sanded them down just in case there was any like glue remnants. And then I took my broom and brushed all the dust off. And now I'm gonna get this stirred up and get started. I went and got another gallon, cause like a dummy, I bought a quart to stain this whole thing. I guess it doesn't go as far as regular stain would go. Or maybe I'm just delusional and, you know, all stain would take this much. I don't know. Anyway, it was not cheap. It was like 45 bucks for this gallon.
I'm at the top of the steps right on the little porch part I got the whole ramp done the railing done I got a little bit to do tomorrow on the outside edge of the um, like ramp it's getting late so I don't want to be doing it too late because I don't want it to you know I want it to be able to dry um, I'm gonna do some touch-ups tomorrow I got a couple of spots that I missed so that's what it looks like so far and I'm up here at the I'm up here on the porch this stain is really easy to go to put on it goes on kind of like paint um, super easy that brush that I showed you in the beginning I highly recommend it is great it's been so easy to use it hasn't dried out like it's perfect highly recommend it it's specifically made for stain and it's um Cabot I think was the brand name I don't have the little um, thing on there I'll try to I'll try to leave it in the description box in case you guys want to look at that as I said this stain was really easy to use it went on very smoothly and easily I can recommend it as far as that as far as like durability and how well it holds up over time I'm not gonna know you know obviously until some time has passed so I'll be sure to give you an update on that if you're looking to stain your porch just make sure you go online and read reviews and get the best stain that works for you this as I said was recommended to me from a friend she didn't use it on a porch though she used it on like a porch covering so it could make a difference here is the final result once I was finished staining I'm very happy with how it turned out this is just the first step to my back porch makeover that I'm working on. I have a lot more things I want to do out here. As you can see, it's already got dirt all over it. The kids have been running up and down it and the cat. And Anyway, I want to add boards to the front of these steps so that you can't see through there. I'm also going to add um, like a cap, a board on the top of this railing to finish it off. And I'm going to mulch all this area right here that is green and put a few more plants in there. And here I'm going to put a walkway. I haven't decided if I want to do gravel or rock or what I'm going to do, but um, definitely going to be doing something with that area. And then also on the railing here, I want to put a board over the top to, you know, kind of finish it off. It looks unfinished like this. I'm not too happy with that, so I'm going to get a board put over top of that. Then, like I said, some sort of walkway here at the bottom of the steps to make that look better because it's kind of a hot mess. I'll tackle all of this in an upcoming video, so be sure to keep an eye out. We're at it again, looking for the cat, huh? I'm here. <laughs> Bonnie's rock rocking the pigtails today. Hey, it's snowball. 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 <laughs> snowball. Just, just bring her in the house. <laughs> She's going to find her for you. <laughs> you got a loose tooth you're wanting to show them mm -hmm. oh look how loose it is you haven't ever lost one yet have you uh -uh. that'd be your first one yeah oh you're growing up i'm only seven years old only seven you may pull it uh-uh why i'm scared you're scared uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Stephanie. How's it going today? Wonderful, wonderful. We got a song to sing for our friends? We got a song to sing. Gonna try one we hadn't done before, so you pray for us. What are you singing? By and by. When the morning comes? When the morning comes. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. It's, it's, it's titled that one way, and then it's titled a different way in the Baptist hymn, mm. which is the first verse of it, like, first line. First line? When children, by and by, Lord, when the morning comes, all the saints of God will gather in the home. We will tell the story of how we overcome. Understand it better by and by. Trials dark on every hand that we cannot understand. All the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land. But he'll guide us with his eye and we'll follow to we die. We'll understand it better by and by. 
the children by and by, Lord, when the morning comes. All the saints and God are gathering home. We will tell the story of how we've overcome. Understand it better by and by. Temptations, hidden snares often take us away. And our hearts are made to bleed for some thoughtless word or deed. And we wonder why the test when we try to do our best. And we'll understand it better by and by. By and by, Lord, when the morning comes, all the saints of God will gather at home. We will tell the story of how we overcome. And we'll understand it better by and by. And we'll understand it better by and by. Look at this shirt. Fine, fine, fine. That's a yard. That's a Goodwill special. There. No, that's a yard sale special. Yard sale, even better, <laughs> even better. I don't know we got who's, that from the 400 mile yard sale. I don't know whose yard it was laying in, but we, we actually it was my aunt's yard. <laughs> oh, what was it from her yard sale? So my aunt know. and my cousin. We had inside connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. I seen that and I was like, oh, this is the find of the day. Timmy is going like this, and he said he could wear it for Fourth of July because it's got the American flag oh, on it. Right, right. What more American is Elvis, right? <laughs> America's number one favorite Hey, song. he was a soldier. Yeah, like, two years. He was a soldier for two years? Two years, uh, from 58 to 60. Well, all right. And, uh, he made sergeant. He did? Mm -hmm. I'm hmm. not sure what level sergeant, but he made sergeant. Oh, cool. Interesting. Interesting. Inter 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 little trivia <laughs> there for you. Could you not say interesting? interesting. Couldn't get it out. Couldn't get it out. To say. <laughs> that was a little trivia. That's a lot easier. For you. Well, thank you for the song today. Thank you. I hope it's per I hope it's all right. I'm my own worst critic. It's good. It's good. It's Sounded good. I hope it's fine. We are working with a cast and a what? What is this called? What did what they call that? I don't know. <laughs> a compression wrap. A yeah. compression wrap on this one. We got a cast on this one. Hopefully, we'll come off on Tuesday. I never saw a cast like this before, but it's hard. But it looks like crochet or something. You'd be glad to get that thing off, won't you? Be glad, be glad. Because I can't pain. stand up. I'm yeah. supposed to sit still all the time. Oh, Not still, you. I can move. But, <laughs> you know, that's the frustration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. We'll show them this cookbook you got in the mail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got this, got this in the mail. There you go. Pictures and pick you out a recipe and we'll make one. Who's that one from? Carolyn Norton. Carolyn Norton. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you so much. You made my day yesterday. He's also been reading. We had another viewer that sent him some of his favorite lifesavers, the orange lifesavers. And he's been reading on this book she included in there, which is Life Lessons from the Cat. You been reading it? It's the chicken soup. Chicken for soup. The soul. For the soul. Uh, <laughs> Got some interesting serious. life lessons in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Don't ask me to remember none of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week and we'll, maybe we'll sing a little bit more. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again today. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week. We will see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,